It's a piece of history that was well on its way to being wiped out. But here at the Rambling House in the Bronx's Woodlawn section, famed Irish historian from Limerick University, Dr. Ruin O'Donnell, talked about a mid-19th century revolt in that country. I'm here tonight because it's the 105th anniversary of the Irish Fenian Revolution in 1867. And there's huge interest in, in Woodlawn and across the United States in general in this little known affair. Also discussed the rise of chief organizer of the Irish Irish Republic, Colonel Thomas J. Kelly, who was buried at Woodlawn Cemetery, and the Manchester Martyrs. Colonel Kelly, who's buried right here in Woodlawn, was a hero of the American Civil War long before, before he became a hero in Ireland. And there's a man who took his life in his hands to go back to Ireland, a country he had emigrated from many, many years before, to try and assist us bringing into being a democratic Irish Republic. He was captured in the course of Endeavour and was quite miraculously rescued from prison by uh, other comrades and escaped back to the United States. Those who managed to spring Colonel Kelly from the prison van included men named Alan, Larkin and O'Brien. And even though they played relatively peripheral roles in the activity, they were sentenced to death in a court in England and they were executed publicly in November 1867. So I'm a new resident of Woodlawn and it's very um, enriching to be able to be part of this community and um, understand how deep it goes. I guess it wasn't as clear to me before how strong the connection it was or is between kind of Irish America and, and Ireland or the UK in general. Also there, a descendant of Colonel Kelly, Erica Vale, who promised to make his story available to the masses. Well, I spent three months in Dublin researching uh, in 2015, and everyone I asked who was not a PhD historian did not know the name Thomas J. Kelly or the Manchester Martyrs. So the fact that they're being remembered this year means that my last two and a half years have paid off. The talk unraveled the relationship between the American government and the Irish, many of whom fought in the Civil War and returned as Finians, a term used for Irish warriors fighting in foreign nations, hoping to use that knowledge for their own independence. Martin Galvin is president of the Wakefield Woodlawn Ancient Order of Hibernians. We're honoring heroes who fought in the American Civil War, contributed greatly to America as well as to freedom for part of Ireland and one day all of Ireland. So that is why there's so many people here tonight. That is why they received this talk in the way that they did. And we're hoping to put more of these events on. This is a very significant part of history, of American history, of Irish history and Irish American history that has really not gotten enough attention. Along with dignitaries, educators were there, including Brian Fahey, director of the Celtic Irish American Academy. I am a school teacher back at home and assistant principal in the college back in Galway. And we're trying to carry on this history tradition onto the next generation of Irish people. They will be hosting another look back at Irish history at Woodlawn Cemetery for a special ceremony honoring Colonel Kelly. For Bronxnet, this is Arlene McCoco.